this is Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Secrets and dope and music and reactions. Liquor and Wolves. I said Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Secrets and dope and a German talking bullshit Liquor and Wolves fuck, 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 fuck. Welcome ladies and gentlemen And we're live Good evening ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls from all over the world How are we doing tonight? This is Liquor and Wolves I'm Rob and you guys are the best You know it Thank you very much for being here so tonight we are going to be doing two things it'll be two separate videos of course and i was like okay there's these two things one i will do from the suggestion list that i'm looking forward to and one that i just want to do kind of for myself really and i was wondering whether or not i should do the whole like let's have fate decide which one we do first since we're doing both it really doesn't matter so what we're going to be starting with tonight in this one here and this is the video you've clicked on of course is going to be ren with bb and the song is going to be called Crutch. So this is on the suggestion list, and I'm going to let you see it over here. So this was suggested multiple times. For one, by uh, Shannon Roberts Smith. Thank you very much for interacting and suggesting this. And then somebody else suggested this as well and uh, continues to elaborate a little bit on it and goes, if you do this one, please read out Ren's description first. And this was entered by alex samways so you guys thank you very much and um, it will be done and i've already brought it up here somewhere here we go and by the way sneak peek we're going to be doing the other two versions of what happened with um harry mac marcus veltry and rob landis later on as well so this, that's why this tab is open so here is ren featuring bb and uh, the song is crutch and i was asked to and i of course will because it's something i've kind of you know started making a habit to first look into the description of things I'm doing. I'm going to blow it up a little bit for all of us to be able to read it. All right, here we go. So it's, wow, it's pretty old. It's from 216. And it has just or only 3.3K views. But all right, let's go. This was shot with no budget at the end of a freaking freeze in October. All right, felt like it was going to get hypothermia lying on cold slate for a few hours. Serious case of mind over matter, but so happy with how it turned out. The song came about after a nervous breakdown following lots of visits to the emergency room after some scary health problems. Oh, wow, man. Ren, this poor, this poor soul, this poor lad is just, he has so much shit to carry around, right? But thankfully, thankfully, I mean, every day we should be like kind of kneeling and praising whatever divine instance for um for like f uh, over the fact that we that we still got him in our lifetime in his lifetime I'm not saying his time is ticking <laughs> i'm saying the fact that he did blow and did make it to the big leagues and did get to share and show what he is able to do with all of us is a blessing it's a blessing really it is right so uh scary health problems <coughs> it's a song for anybody who has faced any kind of mental challenges oh no it's gonna go in that way oh fuck all right, let's face it, let's endure it. Um, mental challenges, depression, anxiety, or health struggles while in a relationship, and all the fears that come along for the ride with that. Okay. I, by the way, I wasn't sighing and you know going, oh shit, it's gonna be one of those, because I did not do that because it is something I don't, you know, I'm not one of those that are standing there and going like, F stop being so fucking, you know, we don't need to hear all that so just keep your shit <coughs> and your baggage for yourself and don't fucking you know use it for clout out there because it's something that's popping these days no i am saying oh shit it's gonna be one of those because it's always getting me in my fields and in my own personal experience with um with issues like it i am hoping i won't have to or i'll try and force myself not to um, not to let this too deep under my skin because it tends like it it tends to always leave me not only with a lump in the throat but a lump in the fucking soul afterwards unless like kind of like in high end we kind of get like a launch ramp towards bettering oneself at the end of the tune because that's healthy and that's something that's actually you know it's it's 
it brings the positivity with it that you need after a dose of what he has to say, right? But let's continue reading this. Um, bloop, I come uh, for the right with it. It is also a song for the courageous and wonderful people who support their other halves, family or friends, during times of crisis. <laughs> In whatever context, I hope my music can help take some of the weight from anyone suffering and help people feel less alone. Holy shit, Ren. Yes, it does achieve that. For me, it's high Ren to the maximum. It did achieve that for me. That's why it's the only reaction ever on my channel that I devoted two videos to. One, my first go, like stumbling into that blindly. And then um, because it's triggered so much in me and, you know, got me worked up so intensively, I gave it a um, deeper dive and a, um, and a, you know, second go knowing what I knew then. Okay, Ren, thank you for pointing out. All right, so we are going to not only be intricate in terms of this is what's wrong with me and this is what I am suffering from, but we're turning it and opening it towards it has impact on my social peers, right? On my surroundings. And, you know, even more concrete, better halves. And I did read somewhere that BB is his former, not sure. I don't think she still is because we never hear, hear of her. His girlfriend, who stood by his side <laughs> um, and kind of had to carry some of the weight of his on her shoulders as well, right? It's never easy. I mean, if you're in the position of being the one that's suffering, which is the only perspective I can speak on because I've never had it the other way around that I was with somebody who was struggling. No, I was being the one that struggled or is struggling and gets to, gets the, the you know, the, uh, the not very honorable honor of enjoying somebody trying to help being at one's side. And if you are the one that's struggling and if it forces you to act and behave in certain ways that you'd rather not, but it just happens, um, those folk at your side are... Uh, <laughs> All hats need to be tipped to them for enduring the shit they'll, you know, they'll take um, for you. And you are going to, going to, you know, kind of shit in their face, really, multiple times without even realizing it or let alone doing it on purpose, but it happens and... um the ability to kind of take those punches and roll with them and not um, take them personally in terms of I realize he is saying these things because he is in a state of mind that is not logical anymore. He's in a state of mind that is just trying to self-preserve their own sanity and the suffering the suffering person will you know throw punches without realizing it without wanting to but those punches hit deep and um, coping with that shit without you know breaking um, all kinds of hats need to be tipped to that I um, know a thing or two about that situation all right so that's the background we got let's see we'll go to a hundred there we go all right as always Oh, by the way, we're doing Coke. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Whoa. Cheers, guys. And I'm going to say this right from the get-go. This might, <laughs> this might um, <coughs> get me in the fields again, and I'll try to kind of ride along with it without um, taking Ren's um, creative product and making it a launch ramp to talk about myself. Um but I can relate, big time. This is a good place to shout out, Micah. Thank you for everything you do and what you, everything you have done and are continuing to do. 
Thank you. All right. Oh, by the way, big shout out to everybody that's watching this and everybody that's following the channel because you guys are a fucking, not only a crutch, but you are, you are motivators and fucking, you know, you are able to see this and this is going on and here's my take on it and um, don't, you know, don't give up, don't. There's, there's, it, you know, it's a fucking pendulum, right? In Ren's words, it's a pendulum for fuck's sakes. And yes, it will be in the darkness, but we do know now, because somebody has actually phrased it and verbalized it, it will swing back into the light at one point. And that's some one can really, you can bet on that. And that's a rock in the fucking tide, right? Okay, as always, I'm going to start letting this ring a little bit and adjust my volume levels and then take you off full screen. Are we ready? This is Ren featuring Bibi, who I think is his former girlfriend or could still be, but I think it's not a thing anymore. This is uh, seven years old and um, I'm ready to go. Are y'all? Let's roll. Beautifully shot. Maybe if I move, maybe my troubles won't follow me. I've got none to lose. Cause everything done to dust around me. My As opposed to everything else that we've seen him do in music video productions, one take videos where you're always like, okay, this is not, let's, you know, polish the shit out of the vocal recording of his vocal track and make it as perfect as possible because what we hear is the rawness and the realness of what's happened as this was being done. I don't think this is the case here because we get this imagery that's music video-ish as opposed to here's a one-take arts performance. And wh what am I getting at? I'm getting at the fact that still his voice isn't being polished to the max. We get raw Ren. Though be it a studio recording, probably, I'm thinking. He decides not to, you know, have 27 takes with it and have some, have like a group of people sitting there going like, ah, that's a little bit raunchy there and here's a little bit of a false breather and stuff. No, it's, it's still him in his rawness. And I like these close-up shots of what seems to be either her or his body. Um, but it's beautifully shot. Very different from the visual stuff we're used to from him. And lyric-wise, he's saying... I think this is the about me part. He is, you know, opening this and setting the, s setting the scene excuse me I'm Ren I'm the protagonist of it and this is what's wrong with me as of now we are not casting um, you know a spotlight over to a partner who is also involved in the whole situation but I'm thinking we'll get there soon let's roll maybe my troubles won't follow me I've got none to lose maybe my troubles won't follow me I've got none to lose is this um going into a another probably one of a thousand potentially and hopefully successful ways of therapy? I ain't got nothing to lose, man. I'm standing here broken. Just I'll, I'm willing to try fucking everything, right? I'll fucking go into a sweat box and I'll do like powdered ivory tea anything right i'm i'm at the i'm at the point where i'm like um, i'm willing to try it all cuz everything done to dust around me my hope it got so bruised my 
I don't think there is one. I think stuff in the past that is broken can either never be glued back together or fixed. The only thing you can use it for is to alter and change what you have done back then to make it break and take it as a learning curve step. But I don't think you can retrospectively fix it. And that looked like Naked Ren there. Yeah. To try and fix these broken things around me. Who plays the piano here? Does he do that? It's a very, very... Mm, what's the word? Vulnerable visual work here, right? We get Naked Ren in fetal position on the cold concrete. He's exposing himself, right? To us. Again. Therapeutically. And not cloud chasing wise. I am a little bit taken up, like take, thrown off, if you will, by what's happening here visually. The audio layer I didn't expect either this piano only world and his sort of speak singing over it. It's not rapping. It's not spoken word. It's not singing really either though. And I wonder if he plays the piano too, because I don't think I've seen him do it. Like he, I've seen him behind a keyboard production keyboard in the Fisher retake thing where he m uses that to manipulate sounds, but he's not, you know, playing keyboard keyboard, but interesting. And this visual world, is, it's, oh, it's kind of, you know, it, it kind of chokes you a little bit, I think. But this could just be me. Let's roll. I'm going to stop talking too much. He still had hair. My love, if I lose. My mind, I'd be so ashamed if you witnessed I'll try my best for you To try and keep my head, but my God is slipping He is one of the only artists out there these days that will get away with performing and, you know, um, doing it the way he is doing it here. If you had never heard of the phenomenon Ren, and you would see a video on YouTube that has 350 views of a person you've never heard of, and this is what they're giving you, in, of course, minor quality video-wise, but I'm talking about the singing. He is able to make the non-perfect or imperfect way he's delivering this be just right. Of course, we know he's capable of doing it in the fucking most Pavarotti way of doing it, but he decides not to. He decides to really not use his head to kind of steer and guide what his vocal cords are doing. It's really the soul and the heart and the gut that decides what his vocal cords should be doing. If it's even a conscious decision of the gut, I don't even think that. He is just letting, he's just releasing. He's just, it's just pouring out of him without giving conscious thought to Am I intoning it right? Am I hitting notes? Is it stable enough? Is it, you know, all this logical thinking over musical production and how to create this, I don't think is being taken into consideration here. And I love that. I love that. To try and keep my head, but my God is slipping an unspoken truth. I feel my body dying as the clock keeps ticking. With the fear that it's all for nothing. 
I'm thinking like we're almost halfway through the, so the through the song, and it's of course Ren with BB. BB will come in at one point, but just status quo up until here. What we've heard him talk about is him stating his current state, mentally, you know, health wise. And it is not as of now what we have been, you know, sort of introed with in the description that it's going to be acknowledging partners of the sufferers of what he's describing. So I'm thinking that will come into play now and probably because his was being his part up until here was being Ren talking about Ren in Ren's perspective and what I'm thinking will come now is Bibi talking about her role being with a Ren that he has just given us and described to us. Let's go music wise there's a bit of a this little drum that underlines the piano but it's totally taking itself back it's not a foundation to rap on for Ren which he's also capable of we know that but it makes it more interesting right let's roll I'm ready could I interrupt stop you, you we're gonna give her some entry time right on the red carpet he's painted with the fear that it's all for nothing could I interrupt? If the weight should get too heavy, I'll help hold this burden. If the weight should get too heavy, I will help hold this burden. Yeah, that's what's going to be happening now. We see it in the visual. We see a caring, yet sort of helpless partner, lover even, who is trying to always offer I am here I like but there's really not much I can do to solve w what's wrong all I can offer and all I can really do is be there and be um be that rock in the in the tide right and promise to pick you up when you fall oh shit man this is something that hits home to um, and being in this situation of Ren's I'm comparing that a little bit to myself now and that's going to be the only thing I'm, I will talk about you do not realize that you are hurting somebody who is giving their all and going out of their way fucking big ass time to be there for you and with just careless statements and you know being in a certain state of mind sometimes things are being said or things are being done or you are reacting in a completely fucking ob objectively thinking way wrong but you're not realizing that you are and and they take so many hits that they never should take those caring loving ones at your side and their ability to take that and cope that and cope with that and you know just roll with the punches and take one for the team forever grateful if the weight should get too heavy, I'll help hold this burden. I'll walk with you, my love. Into the fires of hell, if it would ease the burden. But I would walk with you into the fires of hell. If it helps with that burden that you're carrying. I would. I can't, but I am, I, you know I would. And also her vocal delivery is just like Ren being real as opposed to being craft. And that's awesome. I love it. Into the fires of hell if it would ease the burden But please don't lose your trust The man I know is brave so don't you dare say you're folding <laughs> The man I know the man I fell in love with, the man I know you are, you could be and will be at one point again. Trust in that. Please don't lose your trust. The man I know would have fucking walked to the fire, right? I'm not sure if that's very helpful because you are giving the person that is in, in dire straits the feeling you've changed. 
But uh, of course, what she means by that is we will get you back to what you really are. This is sick you and we will cure this and we will fucking fight it and overcome it and you will be that man again. So don't you fucking fold on me. Right? Great. Great. These horns are coming in way too fucking late but that is a line that is fucking... And probably it's even a good idea. It's a good recipe to, t to say to someone, the man I know, the man that you know you are, and we both know you will at one point be again if we overcome and beat this shit, would not fold. So get your fucking ass up. It's motivational, right? Love it. The man I know is brave, so don't you dare say you're folding. I can be your crutch. Your crutch. Here we get the actual title of the song. This is being so fucking vulnerable and so open and so just letting all of us in because this isn't acting. They were actually a couple, and Ren's tears here are not acting. Holy shit, this poor man, this poor fucking soul. I hate the phrase thoughts and prayers because I am like prayers and that whole thing. But, you know, the what's behind it, thinking positively towards somebody and wishing for them to get better is what I'm really saying. I, I have him in my thoughts for sure, for sure, for sure. Holy fuck, this is... <sighs> oh, don't you dare say you're folding, I can be your crutch. I'll be your crutch. Oh, wow, I'm sorry. I'll be your crutch all the way. All the way. I'm here for the duration. I'm not a nurse that's going to help you overcome this and then split. I'm here for the fucking duration. And now the music's going to get epic and we will just real quick let this linger like this because I don't want it to clip. Let's go. Oh, and the curtain's closing. So many things are going on simultaneously here. Her vocal delivery here, it's, you know what it reminds me of? Do y'all remember the band Hole? Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain's wife, and her band Hole. She used to kind of sing like this, and the musical foundation sounds a little bit like them too. Pixies, Hole, like stuff like that. And something else has changed in the visual layer that we're getting big time, right? Let's go back just 15 seconds. Like, keep this frame in mind. And all the... Okay. This is the green world. The blue world. And this whole first half of the song was being graded, color grading, into the hopeful color tones of yellow and red. We go over to blue, which is cold and fearful, and then to green and black, which is sort of if you you know in color theory for moving image arts i'm i have a production background right so when we grade things towards this or this or this it is always a conscious decision to you know to underline what is happening in the storyline and this is doing that beautifully as well so he went from we are calm and peaceful and we are together and we are sort of not cuddling but we are being together and it is not a point of extreme outrage of my disease or our fight against one another every now and then. And with the musical switch, also the imagery switches towards something that is not calm, peaceful, and to a point hopeful anymore, but is sort of gloomy and end-of-the-worldly color-wise. I 
love it. So he is popping the pills. He, he, we see him and his struggle I, in his physical bodily struggle with things. His attempts to just kind of zone out and being underwater in a tub and, you know, kind of putting himself in what I call the cotton ball. Just take enough pills so you don't feel the pain as much anymore but it's really it's 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 tricking you into a state of mind that isn't your real state of mind it is just nice and soothing to go into that state because you don't have to deal with what's going on but it will still be there once that wears off right oh fuck it's hardcore shit <laughs> The my love I give to you, we see them hug. We're back in the grading of more yellow and red. She is mad a little bit too. Not at Ren per se, but at the whole, at the situation that they both are trapped in together, right? I'm giving this my all, man. I'm fucking confused. What in the fuck? I w like, I am here for the duration. I want to be your crutch. I want to be your rock in the fucking tide. But sometimes you push me away when you're like either high on this drug thing and fucking ADs and all that shit. I can sing a song on that as well. And you change when you are when you are in those when you are in the bad world you are not you and the man i know and everything right and you can hear it she's angry she's not hating him for it but she's hating the situation i can totally i can totally relate not that i've been the crutch of someone but how someone who is trying to be a crutch must feel when they're being pushed away and when they're when all their efforts and all their attempts at making it brighter fail and the person just r ends up in the cotton ball again and is really crying for help but you can't do it and you oh it must be a fucking bitch So she said, if I lose my mind, would you stay with me? So the person on the receiving end of that statement, Ren in this case, or whoever is putting themselves in that position, your partner who was your rock says to you, if I lose my mind over this whole shit, because I can't fucking, like, you don't know how much I suffer from the whole fucking shit as well. If I lose my mind, will you still be with me? Because I am throwing my all into this. Like, my shit, my fucking everything is on the fucking crap table, right? And should I lose? What then? Do you even still want me then? Oh, that's an interesting question, right? It's fucking, it's a fuck, it's true. It's existential almost, again. Like, I am... I am in this 100%. I am here for you and I always will be. But if it means taking like hits left and right every fucking day and losing my own fucking shit over this, what if I invest all that, lose my own fucking mind, and then you, who I'm trying to be there for, decides, that's a crazy person. I don't need that in my life right now. I have, um, I have my own shit to fucking deal with. How fucking that? We're going back into, hopefully, um, amends of this little back and forth. We are... No, Ren didn't scream at her, but she is screaming at him slash the situation, not him per se. But it's getting, it's getting romantic and hopeful again. Let's see. Could you stay with me? No, I'm sorry. I just saw his lips move to the line I was talking about. Would you stay? Yeah, he is asking her that. 
Well, you know the answer, Ren. She's been there for years and years and years. While you are losing your mind, you are in the midst of losing your mind. Why ask that question? I guess it's something that, yeah, you are not certain of anything. I can relate. I'm sorry. So the whole thing I just said about her, you know, being so invested in it and being fearful of losing her own shit and hence get dropped by him wasn't what's happening at all. He is saying this to her. She's gone. She is, in fact, gone. Crunch. Is this it? No, there's a bunch left. Let's what? Music by Ren, guest vocals by BB, cinematography Tom, video editing Tom and Ren, directed by Ren, Tom, and Lula. So apparently Sam wasn't an issue here yet. Sam being the one that does all his videos these days. I mean the freckledangels.com. I know Freckled Angels is a song that I have on my list. The entire album is called that? I didn't know that. I will probably learn more when I do that song. That seems to be re that is it. Yeah. All right, can't no, stop it. Fucking stop it. We've done this and no, we want to stay on this one and like it. Of course, I'm sub. Yes. So this whole disappearance of her towards the end. I would think when they produced this they must have still been a couple. So it doesn't make any sense that he is, you know, this isn't retrospect on BB was my crutch and I lost her because she disappears from the visual. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Or maybe they were already separated and he asked her to, will you be in this video and help me paint this picture of us and what the end result of it sadly was which is you're not mine anymore and I you are not my crutch anymore actively it could also be that yeah or it's him why they were still a couple predicting the future of I will probably lose you like I lost everyone else prior to this Holy, music-wise, this has not comparing. Everybody says this. It has NF vibes. It this has NF vibes in terms of the execution of the creative product we're seeing. What do I mean by it? I mean by it the the musical foundation puts itself in the background to make way for what's being said and shown. It doesn't, you know, pull musical backflips and give you bump beats and you know, craziness. It does its job of being the carpet for him to dance on and paint this picture for us, right? It's not something that would go on my playlist for the music. And it's probably something I will not ever watch again because it takes me to places I don't want to be. But that's something he always achieves, right? He has you face this shit if you are even peripherally, um, you know, involved in the subject matter of mental health, either being it yourself or being somebody's crutch who is suffering. And he, he puts you in that, right? He's like, face it, face the music, figuratively. Wow, and that, yeah. I'm kind of... I'm kind of unsure whether or not to give this horns. Yes, the, the 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 creative product and end result of what we are seeing here on YouTube is of course deserves horns like a fuck. But where this takes someone like me 
you know, I wouldn't applaud that it, I am now in the state of mind I'm in. <laughs> but art does that and is supposed to do that and, and take you into take you to where ever your own take on what you're seeing takes you. And that is 100% achieved. And I am sure this will happen many more times with uh, this fucking, yeah, I'll say it, this fucking prodigy, this artful prodigy named Ren, music-wise, storytelling-wise, content-wise, depth-wise, execution-wise. It's just, again, a fucking blessing to have him and have him be successful and fucking reach the world with what he has to offer. Speaking of, uh, what does the world have to offer? I will do another one right after this. Um, Harry Mack, Rob Landis, and Marcus Veltri. And I'm glad I didn't do it the other way around and come into this super hyped from what I know will happen in the next video. And uh, then, you know, go from a peak to a fucking valley. But it, have it the other way around and let those three guys pick me up from where I am right now. Thanks a bunch for being here. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Um, if you want to do me a favor, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment, and we'll rock out on the next one. Bye-bye.